This is a Jana Duggar update for 2024 because everyone always wants to know what's going on with Jana Duggar and will she ever get married? Seriously, this is what people wonder about. Jana Duggar is the oldest daughter in the Duggar family. Her twin is John David, and she's 34 years old now and single, which in their social circles is basically old maid status. Fans have been extremely, extremely puzzled throughout the years as to why Jana, such a pretty, talented, and overall amazing person, would remain single while her sisters are getting married and popping out babies left and right, mind you. She is a Capricorn, born January 12th, and according to her astrological chart, her perfect match would be a Leo or an Aquarius, something to look towards when she starts courting someone if she does. On the show, Jana made it clear she hates being asked about courting, and she insisted she's just picky and hopes to eventually find the right one. But I'm absolutely sure there have been a lot of guys lining up to date Jana, and I'm assuming she's rejected most of them. In the past, Jana's been rumored to be dating or courting Tim Tebow of all people, the Christian football star, Jeremiah's wife's brother, Stephen Wisman, some guy named Caleb Williams, who was a family friend, and let's not forget her own best friend, Laura, a rumor she especially hates, and she has denied that one publicly. Most guys that even stand next to Jana Duggar too long will get looked up by fans and the media, which is probably not a fun situation. Caleb Williams, the family friend who was rumored to be courting her because of a picture, shut down the rumors and had said at the time, now to clear the fog and avoid any confusion, read my lips, I am not dating Jana Duggar. Over the past several months since an extremely unflattering image was posted by my friends and spread across the world faster than a viral cat video, there has been speculation regarding a relationship between myself and Jana. The extent of our relationship is purely friends and nothing more. So Caleb was actually later charged with something similar to Jana's brother Josh, so fair to say, you know, she dodged a bullet there, but I guess it was just friendship. He was actually dragged into Josh's trial in some capacity and went on live TikTok to answer some questions about the Duggars in later years. Tim Tebow's rep confirmed that he was not dating Jana Duggar. The rumor had started because apparently Jim Bob and his mom know each other, and I think fans were just kind of wishful thinking. And poor Steven Wisman was called and basically harassed at his workplace about Jana, and that would scare anyone away. No one to this day knows if it was a real courtship or just friendship. It seems that Jana is still living on Jim Bob's land, but maybe in another building of some kind, just on the property, but in her own space, so at least she can have a bit of independence. I mean, she is a 30-year-old woman, after all. In the documentary that aired about the IBLP and featured Jill Duggar, her sister, there was mention that some people in the religion take a vow of singleness. And in Jill's book, Counting the Cost, she went more into detail and said, we were encouraged not to sit around waiting for a future mate to show, but instead to occupy our time in ways that distracted us from constant thoughts of marriage. Mr. Gothard even taught that it was best to make a vow of single service, committing a specific number of years to serving God while single. And let's be real, Jana has a lot of hobbies. She does keep busy, which honestly, this is all shocking because it seems like the culture is all about babies and getting married. But anyways, fans are now speculating that Jana may have taken a vow like that, especially since she worked for Gothard at a certain point in her life. Jana, though, has had a few rough years. She's had to go through her brother Josh's fall from grace and trial. He was sentenced to 12 years and seven months in prison. So he'll be there until 2032. And there's been a lot of fallout within the family. It was very traumatic for the family 
and she later was herself charged with something. She was charged with endangering the welfare of a minor in Arkansas, which sounds terrible, but basically a child that was under her supervision wandered off the property, basically. And, um, you know, her sister Jessa, when the news came out, had come to her defense and said, getting messages about headlines about Jana. Bottom line, it was an innocent mistake. She was babysitting and one of the kids slipped out the door unnoticed, but it ended safely. Could have happened to anyone. The media is sensationalizing this because of other current family circumstances and it makes me so mad. Agreed, plus it just seems like she's trying to help all the time and probably was babysitting a lot of kids at once. I mean, who knows what happened, but it does sound kind of like an innocent mistake. Either way, Jana appeared recently in a video with Joy and her, some of her younger sisters. There was actually a lamb in the video as well. Joy is out here, guys, getting this YouTube revenue, and she was doing a Q&A, a fun game with her sisters. Nothing too controversial here, but we still learned a bit about the mysterious Jana because she doesn't post on Instagram anymore, really, ever since the trial with her brother and all that, and the show is cancelled, so... This is one of the only ways we see her. We found out that Jana thinks Joy is the least likely to get embarrassed and that she herself doesn't embarrass easily either. She does seem to be very sure of herself. She also said that her favorite place she ever lived was the old house, the one before the big house, because she lived out most of her childhood there. Joy and Jana went on about how they loved the floor plan and all that, and that they actually thought about maybe recreating that house one day. She also answered, how do you show support to your family members? And she says, by babysitting, helping set up homes. Jana's really good at helping with the houses and decorating. She says that she wants to help just relieve some of that pressure for others, and that mostly she wants to help. She's always helping her siblings, that Jana, and we know she definitely helped Jessa with design choices and things for her new big house. And so this is my Jana Duggar update for 2024. And as always, we wish her all the best, single or not. I don't know why people are just pining for her to get married. If it happens, it happens, but it is her life after all. But something tells me you know, a courtship might be right around the corner. You know, I just, I feel like it's going to happen. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching my video all the way until the end. I very much appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to like this video and even comment. What do you think's going on with Jenna? Do you believe any of the conspiracy theories about the vow of singleness? Let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.